India has added another milestone to its space achievements. The Indian Space Agency, ISRO, has successfully launched Bluebird 6 into space. A short while ago, India's most powerful rocket, the launch vehicle Mark 3, performed a commercial launch for a U.S. customer. The mission is being facilitated by... Minus four, three, two, one. Now, take a knock. Minus four, three, two, one. Now, take a knock. Minus four, three, two, one. Now, take a knock. And along with the satellite launch, another big development that happened just yesterday. India successfully conducted user evaluation trials of the Akash Next Generation Air Defense Missile System. This is the Akash NG. The evaluation trials of the missile conducted by Defense Research and Development Organization, that is India's DRDO, met all preliminary services qualitative requirements. India's Defense Ministry said that the missiles successfully intercepted aerial targets at different ranges and altitudes, including high-speed, near-boundary, low-altitude and long-range, high-altitude scenarios. Now, the Akash NG, it is a potent medium-range surface-to-air missile system for ensuring air defense against different types of aerial threats. It is equipped with an indigenous radio frequency seeker and propelled by a solid rocket motor. These features enable the next generation Akash missile system to detect, engage and destroy targets with high precision. The Akash missiles were on full display during Operation Sindur, the four-day conflict earlier this year with Pakistan. And now we have the Akash NG. While the successful test of Akash NG missiles paves the way for its induction into the Indian Armed Forces, important to note here is that the Akash missile system is indigenous to India. It was deployed in May 2025, as I just mentioned, as a defense shield during Operation Sindur. India's strategic response to Pakistan's escalatory Pahalgam terror attack.